Hello, welcome to another episode of How to Kill an Hour. My name is Marcus Bronzy, joined by Richie Driss. It's good to have you back in the studio, man. Thank you, mate. It's good to be back. It's all very nice and new, isn't it? It's been a while. I think, have you been here after you tried to destroy the studio? You have a couple yes, of times. Yes, a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to bring people into the loop, Richie... Tried to destroy the studio. Just tried to destroy the studio. It was Christmas time. I believe we were consuming alcohol. Oh, yeah. And I don't think I've consumed alcohol in the studio. And we might do that today as well. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be catching up with Richie because he's, you know, he's, yeah, he's coming, in hot. coming in warm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He might be Richie Twist by the end of the episode. Hey, do you know hey. what I mean? I like that. I like that. Oh, how you doing, bro? I'm all right, mate. Thanks. Yeah, what about yourself? Good, man. Look, listen, we're enjoying the uh, response that we're getting from the jokes. Uh, social media is doing really well. We're enjoying the jokes that people are sending in. We have a new episode uh, style called Punishment. And uh, yeah, that's that's in the edit right now. So I can't wait to share that. That's basically where the gang are sending in their jokes. Mm-hmm. Some are good. Some are bad. Some of them have just had to stay in the inbox because you really want to get us cancelled. Those, yeah, those yeah. are the ones that I want to read out. I was thinking in the future, could we do a... Could we do an after dark? That's episode? the one, isn't it? Could Look, we do a paywall? Plaster your warning all over the place in the first place, and yeah. say if you're if you're of a sensitive disposition, or you're easily offended, or whatever it may be. If you think you might complain, don't bother listening, please. I think you have to name the podcast that because you know what people clip people clip that out and just jump straight oh, into the shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We'll just put it like literally. I'll write it on my forehead. Yeah, if you're yeah. gonna complain, don't bother. Yeah, man. Everyone's got a limit. I'm glad to see you're fully past that um, Blue Peter stage. In your Fuck life. all that. Yeah, of course I am, <laughs> man. I was working very hard on my PR yeah. for four years. Yeah. I mean, before we had to, what, did, what is it you had to do when you were on set? You had to pour your vo- orange, vo- vodka into orange juice all the time in it, yeah? When you were, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Sorry, yes. fucked up on yeah, set. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, or, or, or the vodka's got to be clear. Yeah, just straight vodka. Straight. Actually, you might have a shot in a bit, actually. Okay. It's something to do with a killer bit. All right, anyway, so we kick off the show. Uh, it's a little bit different from when you were last here, Richie Driss, mm-hmm. with our jokes, a.k.a. jokes of the week. Week, 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 where Richie and I just run through some jokes at each other, bro. I'm going to go first. I'm going to lead the way. Mm-hmm. Last time it was very punderful, right? Mm-hmm. This time, a little bit naughtier. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. I've got to ask, when, before we start, are, yeah. we, are, we, are, we, are we participating, not literally, but in a little bit of like flirting in foreplay, so to speak, to use a metaphor, or are we just raw dogging it straight in? We're just raw dogging it straight in, Fine, back I'll, to I'll back. Scroll to the bottom then. Back to <laughs> 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 for one of a better phrase. Back to back, bro. Uh, okay. To the All right, here we go. Maria had just gotten married and she was still a virgin. On her wedding night, she was staying at her, her Italian mother's house and she was very nervous. Her mother reassured her, "Don't worry, Maria. Tony, your husband to be, is a good man. Go upstairs and he'll take care of you. Meanwhile, I'll be making pasta." So up she went. When she got upstairs, Tony took off his shirt and exposed his hairy chest. Maria ran downstairs to her mother and said, Mama, 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 Tony's got a hairy chest. Don't worry, Maria, said the mother. All good men have hairy chests. Go upstairs and he'll take good care of you. So up she went again. When she got up into the bedroom, Tony took off his pants, exposing his hairy legs. And again, Maria ran downstairs to her mother. Mama, Mama, Tony took off his pants and he's got hairy legs. Don't worry. All good men have hairy legs. Tony a good man so go upstairs and he'll take care of you so up again she went and when she got there tony took off his socks on his left foot and he was missing three toes when maria saw this she ran downstairs and went mama mama tony's got a foot and a half her mama said stay here and stir the pasta (laughs) yes yes Yes. we got maria's mom she's like yo i got this that is a good plot twist that as well i thought that was going down the route of hairy penis yeah so i don't know Clearly, I mean, that's why I... Poor Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Fair play. All right. Mine are not quite as anecdotal as that. All right, go on. So I can do a couple. People say that Steve Jobs died too soon, but I think it was a fitting metaphor for his company's attitude to battery life. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's like that's good. It's also that's funny because it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live charger to charger, bro. So I'm about that life. Uh, uh, speaking of while I remember, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Um, My girlfriend told me sex is better on holiday. That wasn't a very nice postcard to receive. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to laugh at that one because I've put myself in the position of the person telling the joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although it's a joke. It's, it's, all, it's, all it's good. still heartbreaking. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to pray for a new bike. Then I realised that the Lord doesn't work that way. 
So I stole the bike and asked for his forgiveness. Yes. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense. Yeah, yeah. I like that it. That is thinking in the year 2,999. That is, man. Steal it now. Do yeah. what you need to do. Say sorry later. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that. All right, then. Cool. I saw a sign that said, watch for children. And I thought, that sounds like a fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh god I like that, I like that. it's oh nefarious god. but it's good go, go. oh god it is I'm not a good looking guy when I was born the doctor slapped my mother wow mm. that sounds like a 50 cent this mm. it should be yeah, 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 should yeah. Be. we need to bring back our feature actually of um, insults of the week you might like that You just oh. we just line up insults and just batter oh. each other oh yeah. I like it alright you got any more? Shall oh, I go? Oh, I got more, uh, but after all right. you. No, no, no. Hit, hoping... us with, hit us with a few more of these. I like these. We're going to run these back to back. I think these will make a nice clip. My grandfather said my generation relied too much on technology. So I switched off his life support. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. That's, the, that's the, the most amazing thing about comedy is when you shouldn't laugh and you do, it, yeah, it, man. it feeds into who you are. You can't Listen, help yourself. I'm a horrible person. Yeah. So I, the things I laugh about, you don't want to know about, man. This is it. They say that during sex you burn as many calories as running eight miles. Who the fuck runs eight miles in 30 seconds? <laughs> Again, I was going to say it's funny because it's true, but no one needs to know that sort of detail about me. Right, you're doing yourself some, some you're bigging Damage. up yourself. I feel, I feel like I've got to, uh, eight seconds is a long time, you know, bruv. 30 seconds. Th uh, 30 seconds is a long time. Sorry, eight miles. Sorry, I got a few. 30 seconds is a even longer eight, time. Eight God, sec 30 eight seconds. Eight seconds is a long wow. time. Wow. Shout out to my hashtag two pumps and a wiggle gang. Yes. There we go. Uh, um, Missy Elliott would hate that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It would, one, yeah, no yeah. We'd be done around. before the first verse is even fucking eight bars in, bruv. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I, fuck, I like them. You got I, any more of these, bruv? Yeah, they're not, not quite on the, like, I went straight in yeah. the raw dogging section. So I should right. To the bottom, as I said, right, cool, and cool. the more I go on, the, the the nicer they get. All right, cool, 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 cool. So cool, if you got right. some, all right, I hit you with another one then. Fine. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. A mother is in the kitchen making dinner for her family when her daughter walks in. Mum, where do babies come from? The mother thinks for a few seconds and says, "Well, dear, mummy and daddy fall in love and get married. One night they go into their bedroom, they kiss, hug, and have sex." The daughter looked puzzled, so the mother continued. That means the daddy puts his penis in the mummy's vagina. And that's how you get a baby, honey. The, the child seemed to comprehend. Oh, I see. But the other night, when I came into your room and you had daddy's penis in your mouth, what do you do when you get... <laughs> what do you get when you do that? Jewelry, my dear. Jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All Trust me. And correct. Trust me. I don't know what the male equivalent of that is, you know. Get, I don't know what is the male equivalent of that. There is no male equivalent. No male a, a nice roly, roly, roly. The tongue action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. A mafia leader asks his right hand man Paulie if he could do. A mafia leader asks his right hand man Paulie if he would do anything he says. Paulie says, "I'll do anything for you, boss." Okay, then he said, "Take this plastic cup, Paulie. Go into the bathroom, jerk off, and bring it out." Unsure of what's going on, the right hand man goes to the bathroom, knocks one out into a plastic cup, and comes out. The Mafia leader says, good, good. Now do it again. Don't forget to bring it out. The Mafia leader hands him a new cup. So in goes the guy to the bathroom and he does the same thing. Then he walks out tired with much less in the cup than the first time. This routine goes on for three more times. Nope. The Mafia leader sees this and says, very good, very good. Do it one last time. He hands him a new cup and the guy goes back into the bathroom. The guy's barely able to walk and drags himself out of the bathroom. He comes out and there's hardly a tiny drop in the cup. The mafia leader says, all right, Paulie, now I want you to take my daughter to the movies and bring her back. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Fuck, that's less joke, more advice. Shit. Might make a note of that for, for the future if I need it. All right, man. All right, all right. cool, cool. All right. I've got a couple more for you. I've got a... There's one that is so... I want to yes. say it. Come on. All right. A guy is out playing his usual round of golf when he gets a call. It's the hospital. His wife has been in a terrible accident and he needs to be there fast. He rushes to the hospital where a doctor is covered in blood and gore, greets him at the emergency room entrance and says, sir, your wife is going to live, but life as you know it is going to change drastically. Your wife is going to require constant care from this point forward. You're going to have to bathe her, feed her, change her diaper regularly, turn her over every half an hour. Activities such as going out, traveling and sex are no longer an option for you. And as for golf, sir, you simply won't have time to do anything like that anymore. 
The man stands there stricken, speechless, until the doctor chats him on the back and says, I'm just fucking with you, man. She's dead. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, no. Are you a golf man? Oh, uh, is, that, is that what you want to... Get out of that story. Are you, am I a golf man? Yeah, a little bit. You a golf player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I've got, I've, oh listen, I've got, a jo- I've got a few jo- extra jokes here if you want to share them with the audience. I can donate one to you, bruv, if you want, you know. Yeah, go on, I've got, I've got go some. Because go right. mine, mine, mine is there, but mine aren't, my wife has just died. Yeah, I mean, look, Do you, you forced mean? that out of me. Yeah, me. All right, cool. All right. Actually, this is, this is a bit of a weaker one, so I did this first. John was driving when a policeman pulled him over. He rolled down his window and said to the officer, is there a problem, officer? No problem at all. I just observed your safe driving and I'm pleased to award you $5,000 of safe driver awards. Congratulations. What do you think you're going to do with the money, said the officer. John thought for a minute and said, oh, I guess I'll get that driver's license. Judy, sitting in the passenger seat, said to the policeman, Oh, don't pay attention to him. He's just a wise guy when he's drunk and stoned. Brian from the back seat said, I told you guys we wouldn't get far in a stolen car. At that moment, there was a knock from the trunk and a muffled voice said, <laughs> Are we over the border yet? <laughs> Little Very cheeky good. one, bro. Little cheeky good. one. Nice. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, All right. Do you know what? I'll let you, I'll let you get these two. Yeah. This is, um, uh, <laughs> you're like the, you're like the short one. There's a long one and a short one. There you go, bro. There's a long one and a short one, Driss. There you go. Right. Is okay. the text big enough? I've made it enormous. Oh it? yeah. Okay. Some of it's in bold. Does that matter? Does Just read the top. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go for it from the top. A smart-witted 70-year-old woman chose to remain overnight in a costly hotel as a treat for her birthday. The following morning, she was appalled when the desk clerk gave her a bill for two and a half grand. She requested to know why the charge was too high. It's a nice hotel, but the rooms certainly aren't worth near that much just for an overnight stay. I didn't even have breakfast, she told the clerk. The clerk clarifies that the £2,500 is the standard rate. At that point, the older lady insisted on talking with the manager. The manager showed up and explained that the hotel has an Olympic-sized pool and a huge conference centre which are available for use. But I didn't use them, the old woman said. Well, they're here, and you could have, he replied. The manager proceeded to say that she could likewise have seen one of the in-hotel shows for which the hotel is famous in hotel entertainment we have the best entertainers from the world performing over here he said but i didn't go to any of the shows she said the manager replied well we have them and you could have regardless of what facility he recommended the older lady would just answer but i didn't use it the manager then countered with his standard reaction after several minutes of contending with him she chose to pay the manager was shocked when she gave the check to him but madam This check is only for 500 quid, he said. That's right. I charged you two grand for sleeping with me, the old lady replied. But I didn't, the manager shouted. Well, too bad. I was here and you could have. Nice. I like that. You know what? Big up. I'm going to live life like that. I'm just going to go around giving people a check, like an invoice. There you go. That's for fucks. There you go. That's for sex. There you go. That's for sex. Now, the next one is so you because it's a punchline special. I hope you like it, Richie. Okay. What is six balls and fucks all the poor people? I don't know. <laughs> the lottery. <laughs> That's good. Yes. <laughs> I do enjoy that one. That is a punchline and a half. Ah, oh, enjoy. Oh, it. man. You're quite a good storyteller, you know, bro. Oh, thank you. Better than me. I'm like, eh, nah, 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 nah. Ah, thank right, you, okay. Sir. Check this one. Right, I've got a few more for you. An eccentric billionaire is throwing a lavish party with guests from all over the world. As this party is well underway, he asks his guests to walk over his Olympic-sized swimming pool, where he had it filled with all kinds of dangerous creatures like sharks, piranhas, crocodiles, you name it, it's in there, right? So he tells his guests, I'll give anything to the person who's brave enough to jump in the pool and swim across. The place falls silent as only the guests whisper amongst themselves in bewilderment. Anything that that person can dream of will be theirs, the billionaire shouts out again. Suddenly, a large splash is heard and a guy is seen struggling to swim through and miraculously, he makes it across. The room erupts in cheers and the billionaire approaches the man who swam across and says, listen, I'm a man of my word. Since you made it across, what do you desire? Money? Mansions? 
cars, my daughter's hand in marriage. The man visibly shaken and struggling to catch his breath replies, I just want to know the name of the son of a bitch who pushed me in that fucking pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be that guy, yes. you know. Well, to push him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, yeah. Fucking, you can fall in. Uh, uh, as long as you know. 100%, 100%. Uh, okay, right. If stalks bring babies, what birds bring no babies? Pigeons? Swallows. <laughs> Hey, yes. There we go. I like it. And there you go, bruv. There was our jokes of the week. We, 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 we. You know what? I really feel like I haven't regressed into like community radio with these sound effects. But you know what? I'm living in it, bruv. Time for the next part of the show. Right. It's time for our part of the show. Where we talk about how we've killed a little bit of time, aka kill a bit. Uh, Driss, um, I want to ask about how you've been killing bits of time. But first, I've noticed that you've got some scratches. And, and you know, I can crack open a beer now because no more. No more jokes. There you go. Let me join you. Yes. Ah. Yes. Beer of the week. Yes. That's nice. Cheers. 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 Ah. <sighs> right. Um, yeah, man. you got some scratches in your arm, bro. Do you know what's weird? Is that for the audience that are listening, Yeah. it looks like I've been attacked by a very angry cat yeah. with rabies. Yeah. I haven't. Okay. I went to sleep... And I had a dream about Justin Timberlake and Timberland. And I was riding around in a car with them, listening to Justin Timberlake's music that was produced by Timberland. And then listening to Justin Timberlake's music that wasn't, okay. which we know isn't as yeah, good. Yeah. And I woke up covered in these scratches. Are you serious? I swear on my life. So what activity do you think made the scratches happen like what Fuck. part of the dream no maybe have you ever seen that video of justin timberlake uh <laughs> drunk <laughs> i was yes. gonna say <laughs> pretending that he's in uh he's james bond they call me timber yeah, timber. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe man. maybe that was in the dream or maybe that was in my subconscious and that's made me want to claw off my own arm yeah but i couldn't tell you it's very fucking weird you don't you don't think and it, are they scratches you've not got like a parasite on your skin climbing around have you not that i know of no they were like you were well, is it sore yeah they're a lot more sore than you would think and like you didn't i had no clue woke up and you were sleeping by yourself i <laughs> was sleeping next to my other half yeah okay cool but she sleeps to my left and these are on my right and so you didn't piss her off before I, bed like no, yo babe just so you know like i know that i said i was going out for one drink but i do what i fucking want i fell yeah, asleep piss yeah. you didn't do that i didn't i didn't she sleeps on my left and these are on my right arm as really? well. okay yeah. all right fair enough bro. Oh, ghost I don't know, you know, they look like... I'm trying to... Right, so right, okay, right. So in police criminology, they'll... So reach up your left hand to your right hand side. They, I don't know, I can't even tell. Like if you can... The, 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 cur the, cur the curves on them look like they've made by your left hand because that is like the... Mo that's the movement of your hand. Yeah, so the scratches go up and down the yeah. arm. But I would have... I, mm, Has I that ever know. happened before? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, I swear. Same arm? I, not exactly the same arm, not exactly the same place, but I have woken up with scratches on myself. And you were by yourself? And I've been by myself. Oh, so it's like a sleep thing then? It's like you sleep scratch? I f just fucking hate myself. Name of the episode, sleep scratching. No, so you, you really, you, so you scratch yourself in your sleep? I've got a phantom, I've got a friend that phantom pisses. <coughs> you ever heard of that? You can't phantom piss. When you piss, oh, piss we call, comes out of we you. Call it sorry, we call it phantom pissing because he stands up and just pisses in the middle of the night. A mate of mine did that at uni. When he pissed yeah. the bed, he would stand up, turn onto the bed, piss on the bed, and then get back into bed. Yeah, my mate told me, right? So the background of it is he thinks his dreams is in a bathroom, right? And that's not funny because clearly that's the bit. The funny bit is where he pisses. So I've been in a, <laughs> I've been in a hotel room at a gig where I wasn't getting paid very much in Southport, I think it was. Oh. Um, quite a nice hotel, but last minute, said friend came up and I had a twin room with the DJ. So I had one bed, DJ had the other... Had the, had the other beds, co DJ, and then my guy that came up to check us, who's now quite a good DJ as well, just said, I'll kip on the floor next to the radiator. I'm next to the window on the first bed. The second bed is closer to the wall, away from the window, and then there's a bit of space between that bed. That's all right, cough away, man. <laughs> a bit of space between that bed <laughs> and the radiator where my guy's kind of wedged himself, right? So we all have some drinks. So obviously he's sure. full of liquids, mm -hmm. right? I sleep through. The next day, I'm like, oh, da, 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 da. oh how's it going, guys? When I slept well, bruv, the other side of the room, yeah, I'm smelling a little bit of piss. I get a waft of it, and I'm looking at 
a disgruntled friend <laughs> and the other one being like looking a little bit shy i'm like what's going on boys apparently my mate that was a dj in the bed not next to the uh, in the bed next to the radiator and the other guy that was in between spaces were just sleeping or whatever and then the dj in the bed just hears like a kind of like a like a, i don't know like water hitting metal like <laughs> and it is my friend who's meant to be sleeping between the beds stands up and is pissing on the radiator right and then this is where it gets mad starts slowly turning no. <laughs> turning towards my boy's head he's like we did we did stop 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 <laughs> apparently my friend like just finished his piss as he was about to reach the, the bedside table of my boy's bed and then he just went shh put his fingers to his lips and went shh calm down calm down <laughs> and then just lay back down that's again like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking and that's hell. like one of the times he with his ex nah, was it ex maybe with, with one of it with one of his ex-girlfriends he um this is a long time ago just in case his current missus is listening like he woke up in the middle of the night <laughs> opened up his girlfriend's makeup bag pissed into it and closed it oh and she didn't God. she didn't find out till like uh, a week later so there's like marinated makeup with piss all over it and i'm guessing he doesn't remember doing these nah. random acts of pissing nah nah, nah. jesus he's a Christ. deep sleeper as well like we've we, in i think at uni we caught him sleeping one night first night sleeping and we were like throwing stuff at him and he was just dead to the world playing um what's the the, the um What's the board game? Put stuff on a donkey. Buckaroo. Oh, yeah, Buckaroo. Yeah, Play yeah. Buckaroo, playing that, bruv. You yeah. could just you could have put a whole couch on him. You just would have chilled. Like Jesus it was. Christ. It got to the point where it's so funny that it wasn't funny anymore. Yeah, you, you know what you, I mean. We're just like dead. we're like yeah, like you okay, check your pulse. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's just yeah, he's just like I think <laughs> I think someone slapped him on the face to make sure he's all right, and he just went. <sighs> <That's> <laughs> so he left him. Anyway, yeah. So you sleep scratch, bruv. All right, cool, man. All right, all right. Good yeah. to know. Good to know. It's like you know. Not only do I sleep scratch, but my I, I wake up to a lot of alerts on my Apple Watch mm -hmm. telling me that my heart rate is dangerously low. Did That means that you are either really healthy or you could just be dying uh, in your sleep. That's I not... reckon it's the second one. Okay, cool. I reckon it's... His, I, he says grabbing his beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, what you need to do is clap a few more of those and, and you'll, you'll be good to go. Yeah, man. You got, yeah, man, that's right. you got to check the doctor. My, mine gets too high sometimes. That's how I'm... When you're fit, sleeping? I am. No, no, no. When I'm like, I'll be like watching a film. No, when you know what? During lockdown, when I was overweight, because I was just eating and drinking. When sorry, more overweight. <laughs> eating and drinking, eating and drinking. I got to a point where, like, if I went up to get a beer from the fridge or something, I'd sit down and I'd be like, oh, that was a little bit of exercise. And my heart was like, do 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 do. Um, and my watch was like, you seem to be, <laughs> you seem to be exercising. Are you going for a walk? I was like, Jesus Christ. Do you reckon when people are uh, taller themselves, because we're, we're, yeah. we're sizable creatures, yeah, we man. Are. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon that means our hearts compensate for that as well? Absolutely not. Right. I think we are going to die first. That's the statistic. Right. Tall people die more. Big people die earlier. Not just like big and overweight, but like tall people. You, you, uh, it's a lot more. Think about it like a plumbing system. Your water, your heart has to do a lot more work to get all of the juice around your body. So starters, it's under more strain. If you start start to like put on weight, which happens as you get older, that's even more mass for it to get stuff around. We ain't really like. I think we have got slightly bigger organs than like a really petite person, but I don't think it's the same. Do you know mm. what I mean? People, it's not proportional. No, no, no. I think what we have got a benefit of is we've got more blood. So when we go to donate blood, I don't think, I don't get dizzy or anything like that. I'm just like, mm. yeah, you take a couple of pints. All good for me. Bro. Mine, 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 mine hides, my blood hides. I've gone like three or four times and successfully donated blood, blood once. And the other time just poked with a needle, out, 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 blood doesn't want to appear. Do you still get a drink and a chocolate bar if you no. do that? They don't. No. A plus for effort, I would have thought, man. Yeah, you know I, mean? I would have thought so. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But um, yeah, man, how have you been killing time this week, then, bro? Uh, getting through the boys, season four finished. My guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all done and dusted. Uh, and I saw Deadpool as well. Nice. All right, obviously we'll get to Deadpool in just sure. a sec, bro. But like uh, the boys, as we we did speak about this off mic in it before. We said um, I spoke about watching Gen V, like, mm -hmm. and I said to you, we I think we spoke about this on the pod is. There's so much TV now mm -hmm. that where do we draw the line? Mm -hmm. If we wanted to be that kind of person that watched all TV, there's you can't really live a life or have a job, right? So my policy was no, no, no extending of an IP or law of a film or or a TV series that is too much of a step away. Like for example, with Star Wars, because you know I watch all Star Trek, right? So yeah. obviously I'm breaking the rule there. But with Star Wars. 
move after the la- after the the nine movies finished i watched mando yep that's about it really yep. i'm not doing any of the car i'm not doing because i don't have time yeah so with with um the boys gen v is like a spin-off yep however and and i watched most of this i know half of the fourth season of the boys yeah and then i was i i had to wait so i thought and then someone a couple a good friend of mine was like you know what gen v is actually really really good and i was like go on i break the rules and i can't lie it enhanced my experience of the second half of the season you know there's some nice little crossover things there yeah i guess you can so. get back Be- to us about that though if you because want. because i watched season four very very much enjoyed it as i have enjoyed every other season yeah, man. really enjoyed their sort of commentary on social and political issues and yeah, all that yeah. kind of thing. um and i do remember spotting moments in it and thinking that's probably a yeah. a Gen V thing. There's yeah. there's, a, there's a doctor character without any spoiling anything who's trying to create a thing. Yeah. If you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think to myself, he must be in Gen V or alluded to in Gen V potentially because his role is too small considering how important it is yeah. in season four. So yeah, I can see where there would be crossovers. I don't feel like, because I'm also watching The Bear at the moment and taking my sweet time over it and loving it. So I don't feel like I want to get into Gen V, but if you think it's as good as that, all that, then I will give it a try. I think it might. You you might have an opportunity to watch Gen V and then go back and watch season four and get a bit more out of it again. Yeah, watch, watch. you get a little bit more squeeze out of it, or maybe before the next season comes out, the boys throw Gen V on. If because you know sometimes you like a little refresh, throw yeah. Gen V on, maybe throw a few episodes of the boys season four on, refresh your memory, and you'll get a nice little. I'd be know. right in saying you don't need to have watched the boys to start Gen V. No. But it goes both ways. There's right. bit, there's bits in Gen V where you're like, oh yeah, 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 shit, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's like reference, there's references to characters in the boys which you can get past. It's really well written, but yeah. And also, bruv, it's fucking gory. It's got, it's, it's oh got my some. God. It's um, four. fuck me, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not a squeamish person. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, I don't know if spoilers are allowed on this or not, but I mean, God. it's been out for a while now, and it's not the last episode, but. Homelander literally tearing Web Weaver in half was amazing, mad. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've not seen that in American. T- that's stuff that I usually would would presume that you see in like um Asian movies and cinema yeah, and stuff like that. Or computer games, computer games as well. But like for them to bring that over here, yeah, Homelander's scaring the shit out of me as well, man. He's fucking. He's, fucking, great, he's a great actor, man. And uh, yeah, what was his, what was I can't remember his name, oh. bro. It's all good. It's all good, man. We've had beers. It's fine. Anyway, he he should be getting Emmys. Hmm. Yeah, man. But yeah, but season four, listen, this is your review. Season four, you're liking it. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it, I, I wouldn't put it in the pantheon of greatest television shows yeah. of all time. I, I, I'm not going to say it's life changing, but I really, really enjoy it. Especially sort of the PR angles that they take and ripping the piss out of the PR industry and all yeah. of that. I, I, I really enjoy that. Is it because you're a part of the world, that world, isn't it? So you kind of get yeah, some of the stuff. Yeah, I have been. And yeah. I, like, there's a lot of sort of, um, yeah, what is it? A lot of what it is is that they they show how many PR campaign without wanting to piss out piss off any PR agencies out there that are listening, but it shows just how sort of um, disingenuous a lot of PR can be. Yeah, man. By shoehorning X, Y, or Z, whatever the agenda yeah. is, front and centre, or putting a spin on a story. So we've yes. probably seen a, a, a story in the papers. Like, oh my god, this person's going to get cancelled in twenty minutes. Later. You know, what? we took like two two days later. We're like, oh, you know what? Actually, the different angle that's come out right. of it actually shows right. they whatever side. They're like they spin stuff. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man. Look, for me, the boys is like you get what you get. Yeah. It does this fucking job? Like, I don't go to McDonald's. And 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 act all surprised that I'm not getting a steak. Exactly that. I'm getting a fucking burger, a cheeseburger, or a Big Mac. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, one that does a job, not one that you're yeah. supposed to bask in the glory of. Yeah, man. But it it does it. But the thing is, though, it looks good. It like the graphics are like the the special effects are great. It's not like yeah. shitty. It's not like they've. No. It's prime in it. They got all the money in the world to do what they want to do. Like you know, Carl Urban. I still love his fucking shit accent. I take it. That's what his character. It it's part of his character. Yeah. Um. Shout out to Simon Pegg. Honorable mention in there as well. Yeah. His he was the so in the original comics. He plays. I always call him Dewey. Huey, right? Huey. He he is Huey's character, yeah. and that and that's why he plays his dad in it. So yeah. imagine that man having your fucking face in a comic book. Yeah. But yeah, man, no, I fucking love it. I fucking love it. It's yeah. great. Um, it's scary shit. Ch- check out Gen V, bro. I want I want more superhero stuff. So I started watching Invincible the second season. As, actually, no, I've done Invincible second season as well. Both of which are produced by Seth Rogen. Yeah, guy, fucking legend, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Um, 
I'll get into these uh, two kind of quickly. I watched Brother's Son on Netflix. Uh, so it's basically a... I've spoken about this on the pod before, so I won't get into it too much. But it's basically a martial arts slash comedy slash thriller. Uh, it's got Michelle Yeoh in it as well. Sick. Fuck, she kicks the I know shit the out of it. Um, class. Just finished watching that because I was taking my time with it. Fucking great. Great. I'd say if, if you like a little... If you like good fight scenes, yep. nice little bit of story. Yep little bit of character development, a yep. little bit of fun. Again, yeah. It, I think it could win awards because the uh, the uh, fighting scenes are amazing. Like the choreography is great. Is this going to be better than everything, 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 everywhere all at once? No. Like it's not that kind of you know, amazing story, but it's fucking entertaining. Mm-hmm. And I'll watch season two of it if it comes out. Um, it's And it's also more, and I don't, this isn't really my place to say it, but I'll go for it anyway. I'm enjoying seeing more Western content with Asian heavy cast 100%. and the show 100% doesn't parody the Asian-ness like so there is a, there is links to triads in this as well which is obviously a stereotype but yeah. they they dress the story in a way where I feel like it's again not my place to say but for me personally I look at it and I'm like nice like, I'm in agreement you've yeah. twisted it a little bit and it's not about you know it shows more shows it shows strength and culture it's a really nice crossover there's like uh, a multitude of languages that get spoken throughout the show flawlessly so you hear people switching from english to uh a mandarin or, or, or like there's obviously taiwan uh like you know there's taiwan culture in there as well which i know chinese taiwan culture is again a complexity i can't get into really mm-hmm. but you hear conversation around that um and i just think like yeah man it's a good watch and also I'm getting into true crime stuff, bro. I watched Worst Roommate Ever. Worst Roommate oh, Ever. I feel like that's that's, that's the new sort of Tiger King-esque. A lot of people are slowly, slowly, slowly getting into that. Bro, let me tell you about one of these murderers, right? Because this was not even scratch the fucking, fucking surface, right? One murderer went on the dark web, bought MRSA, yeah? Well, Mercer. Cool. Yeah, one of those fucking bacteria, one of those infections that wiped out hospitals, killed people, and rubbed it into their friend's wound. <sighs> That's chemical fucking warfare, dude. So they got nabbed because the FBI picked up this per- person, and then Mercer had some b- antibiotics. I think it's antibiotics that could defeat it. There was one called Ursa, which was like the ultimate version. Like, yeah. And there was nothing that could really get it. She was trying to buy that shit as well, bruv. And give that to somebody who was going into a hospital to kill their fucking roommate, bruv. That's just one of the people. I, honestly, bro. Jesus Christ. Watch it. Someone is taking what you just yeah. said, having not watched it and writing a movie about it. I'd fucking watch it all day long. Because it. all these stories start off with a roommate. So anytime you have a roommate, it starts off with good intention. Someone's friendly. And then obviously you see in each of these cases where the nefariousness kind of seeps in the nefarious yeah. juice yeah, slips yeah, yeah, into that yeah, cocktail yeah. of life bruv honestly and it's again look everything i've spoken about this week it ain't something that's gonna like change my life but sure. it's been fantastic watching for me like yeah. let me get an hour in here let me get an hour in there i don't think i've really watched anything that's really like like fine smash smash me in the chest but that's right anyway, levels talking about levels bruv yeah that looks like Alizé. We've already... <laughs> Alizé from early early 2000s yeah. rap videos. We've already reviewed it on the show, so uh, bigger shout out to uh, the guys, Casa Reos. There you go. Watch. don't know if it's even there. You go. Boom, 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 boom. Casa Reos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a tequila. It's a tequila man. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Am I ever? Oh, well, yeah. Tequila man. It's a tequila. Um, it's from the guys from Brewdog, actually. <laughs> Sorry? It's from Brewdog, actually, but... <laughs> Okay, so there you go, That's a plot anyway, twist. So right, yeah, bro. Anyway, sorry. Cheers, mate. Here we are back. I've just uh, poured Rich's tequila because that's uh, it's an important time for us, bro. I need to hear about Deadpool, bro. Ah, let me just take it. Is it a sip or a shot? We're doing shot. All right, cool. Yeah, there's no ice and lime. So shot. bottoms up. All right, cool. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay. not bad. Yeah, isn't you know? Actually, anyway, right. Look, I'm gonna let you talk, okay. and I'm just gonna listen, bro. Right. Assuming that you and everyone listening has seen Logan, okay? Logan is the greatest Marvel film of all time. Big statement. Big statement. Okay, okay. let me rephrase. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry. Better than Avengers. Any Marvel film. Okay. It's for me it's the second best comic book film of all time apart from the Dark Knight. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll 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 preface this review with that. 
it was the perfect end for an incredible character. Yeah. That now needs to change because Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, I, I loved the first Deadpool, but I loved the first Deadpool partially because of the time that it came out, 2016, and it came out in the midst of, we were deep in the MCU yeah. and deep into comic book films that were, we had Batman vs Superman, it was all very serious and, and dark and, yeah. Uh, and then Deadpool came along and blew all of that out of the water, R rating, comedy, or 15 rating, comedy, it was a breath of fresh air and it was very, very necessary at the time. Two wasn't, for me, I was fine, more of the same, but the, the charm of it sort of, the polish and the shine and the charm of it sort of faded for me because you, you've done something incredible and the first time you do it, you, you caught lightning in the bottle, can't do that again, okay? Third one takes a, a character that I love, Deadpool. I, I love the rever irreverence. I love the comedy. I love the, to an extent, the fourth wall breaking and all that kind of thing and combines it with my favourite Marvel character of all time, Logan. And what it is is the best film it can possibly be given all of the restrictions and the utter shambles that the MCU is in. Mm. There are no stakes. What we've come to establish is that there are absolutely no stakes in the MCU anymore because if, if a character dies, go to a, a different universe, they are there. Right, so there's no it's, a new, it's a new time travel, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, multiverse is right. a new time travel. That right. was like the ultimate hack. But how can you possibly care about a character if you know that then they would, can just travel to another yeah. universe and, and resurrect them there, okay? So there's that, no stakes. And when Logan was all about stakes and the and the relationship between um, Logan and Laura, it, it, so it's completely, completely different to that. I To summarise, because I could go on for hours, to summarise, it's the best film it could possibly be given that it's part of the MCU. It would have been a lot, lot better if it wasn't an MCU film and stood alone. Mm. it's entertaining it's absolutely entertaining it's not going to save the MCU I am not going to go and watch I, I'm not going to go and watch any more MCU films off the back of how good this is and I, I went and saw this one off the strength of the characters from previous mm, films mm. not off the back not off the fact that it's an MCU film so it's eating off the off the um, Deadpool and Marvin uh, Marvin um, um, Wolver Marvin Wolverine um, um, Legacy Legacy yeah. and people that love those characters there are some brilliant and when I say brilliant I mean there are some laugh out loud moments there are the cameos cameos by now are gratuitous to the point where I I, I, I don't particularly yeah, care yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you it, you come to expect it because there's a reliance on it. Yeah. But some of them in that, in the film, are very good. And, again, not spoiling anything, aren't what they first seem. Okay. There were two cameos in it that I was like, that is brilliant. For real? Brilliant. Okay. Two cameos that are brilliant. But, again, none of those cameos actually make any difference to the storyline itself. It's cameos for the sake of cameos. But as I said, Ryan Reynolds, who's on the writing staff, um, has done the best that he possibly can considering the limitations put upon him by the fact that it is now an MCU film. Mm. They're having a great time. So you've got Disney breathing down your neck who's right. saying, keep it Disney. And the thing is, is that they make references to that in the film. Yeah. We can't talk about, we can't do cocaine, it's a Disney film now. Like, yeah. and, and I like all that. And for me, it, it does... The, the any sort of stakes that I have in the film or caring about the characters are again undercut by some of the humour and the fourth wall break. There's a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot of fourth wall breaking. They, they, they overdo it. I think I think the fourth wall breaking is overdone. It's almost like Deadpool's narrating the film okay. sometimes, right. and I think again that sort of undercuts any sort of it's potential stakes. But I didn't care about the characters because. Yeah. Do you know what I feel like? And I've not watched it yet. So this is from an outside point of view, right? But go and see it because it's very entertaining. I will. But I feel like this has happened with media products again and again. When you're not expecting a good time. What are you going for the shot? Yeah? Yeah. If, if you're not expecting a good time, you are pleasantly surprised. But the clear opposite of that is when they overcook the hype in media. When they're like, because honestly, and I understand they've had to do a big press run for this. But my God. They've done a big press run for this, but... When you <laughs> when you Jesus. step into uh, a movie like this and they've been telling you for months and months and months it's going to be the greatest ever. You've seen a screenshot 
with Wolverine and and Deadpool next to me, other walk around. They're talking about costumes and stuff. I always get so scared that you cook it so much that every that you can only be disappointed because. I don't think the best films I've watched in my life or the films that have, are the ones that have impacted me the most, whether they've been the funniest, whatever, whatever, have been ones that I've expected and that's part of it. But because Deadpool, that's why Deadpool, the first Deadpool film, Deadpool film smacked it because for those in the know, we're like, I ain't ever going to let him go crazy because Disney was acquiring and all that time. Like, he ain't going to go fucking mad. He ain't going to chat all that shit and break the fourth wall. And he came in and he was as Deadpool as fuck. Mm -hmm. Character he's been playing for years, but that's another story. But um, <laughs> by the time we get to the third one, how do you still surprise us pleasantly, which is where the cameos probably came from? How do you take it up a, a notch from the second film, which I agree with you, they tried their best, but it was a bit more like, more of the same and a bit more fun. It was a bit more like wild, but how do you get, how do I put it like, I was more, and I'm hoping, because that's why I try, I try to stay out of the media hype for this because it's everywhere on socials Same. because I think it'll spoil it. Because uh, I'll go to the other universe, DC Universe. The James Gunn Suicide Squad intro was so fucking off the chain. That was when they do a, a mission and everyone dies. Yeah. 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 It was so shocking that it pulled me in and I fucking enjoyed that movie so much more because it just slapped me in the face and threw me off. But with Deadpool, because you, you're expecting a slap. How does it hit you with it? Do you know what I mean? So it's a challenge to get it's a challenge to get the third one out for any film anyway. It starts very well because okay. the, the addressing of of Logan's passing in, is is handled yeah, I yeah. think very well. Nice. And again, that's a film that I'm quite protective over because I adore yeah. it so much. I really like what they did with it. And then it goes from there. All right. Does Hugh Jackman look huge and jacked by the way? Fuck me. Is he on the juice in there? He's on that Hollywood juice. Well, you think he's like, bruv, he's 50. Now, nah, one second, let's find out his age. No, do you know what? You think it's not, you I think think it's he's not 54. juice? If he's 54, 55, bruv, doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll find out. Do you know that. what? They, it doesn't they, matter. It's they, cool. They, they, they play, they do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm possibly going into spoiler territory yeah. with. Yeah, go for it. Really? Yeah, a little taste, like, if you can. Spoiler alert. alert. They highlight, like, how jacked Hugh okay. Jackman is. Yeah, 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 yeah. huge and jacked overtly highlighted yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they make a joke out of it he's probably on the holiday you could, you, at, his, at 55 bro at my age yeah Man. the gym is a struggle anyway yeah he's looking in phenomenal shape oh that's great yeah. look I'm gonna go and watch it um, we've been invited to a bunch of press events even after the film's come out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man. So the, we're going to be hearing about this for a few weeks. Would, if you're, if you're, I was going to say, if you're invested in the MCU, well, if you're invested in the MCU, definitely go and see it. Yeah. If you're invested, sure, fuck it, go and see it. You're in for an entertaining it's two good hours. Film. Yeah. You're not, you're never bored. All right, cool. You're never bored. Yeah. You, yeah. You may not like it, but not liking something is better than being bored by it. In my yeah, opinion. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a good film. Good so and and obviously as people want everything nowadays, isn't it? It's good film, good action. Is it gory? Bit of gore in it? Yeah, it's a bit of gore. There's a yeah. lot of gore in it. I would say that it's the clearest uh, example ever, without getting into the weeds, of someone who was Ryan Reynolds has made it very very clear how he loves Deadpool and he loves Wolverine and he's always wants to make a buddy movie about yeah. the two of them. That came first, and then the story was sort of pressed in and wrapped around the fact that these two are at the centre of this film imagine having that green light power man imagine having that is, is he, I nice. bet he's a producer on that film as well oh, isn't he? Cool. I bet he's, exactly. he's getting some exactly. cake exactly. from that bro of course he is yeah man and you've got to think about that as well sometimes as well I because yeah. I think that plays into it um, interesting right I, we can get into this so I don't care did you hear the little story about how you know the I forget the name the barman character in the first and the second film, his mate behind the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. TJ Miller. TJ Miller, yeah. TJ Miller said that he was a bit of a prick, like Ryan Reynolds was a bit of a prick on set. Did you ever see the clip? I'll tell you, he said that mm. like, they were doing a, a take and Ryan Reynolds started saying some really mean stuff about TJ Miller, but not to his character, to actual TJ Miller. Do you know what? And then, he, yeah, he went on the podcast talking about it. And then afterwards, he said how Ryan called him and they talked and they worked out. But he said on set, he was saying some weird ass stuff. Wow. Well, I actually, now that you say yeah. it, He's nowhere near the third film. Yeah. And there's a lot of external characters yeah, that yeah. basically glorified extras yeah, in the third yeah, film. Yeah. And he's not in it. Yeah, he said that they did a take, right? And obviously, honestly, this is not... I don't even have to say allegedly because it's not my words. Go and watch the TJ Miller thing. He said he was like... um, Like, he said... Like, they were doing a take. I don't know, like, you've done TV and film before, but yeah. you know there's like take you do like... You can do the same thing a hundred times in yeah. a day. You can shoot... A one minute of film in a day and that's a good day like yeah. that's why movies take so long to make yeah. and like he was doing takes and he was just saying some fucked up shit like I don't know like imagine I, did, I don't know say Richie you had one leg and I was like cracking leg jokes in my character but your character had one leg that's cool but if your character hasn't got 
one leg and you have both legs, but I'm rinsing you in character for your leg that's not there. That's a bit weird, isn't it? It was like one of those ones. Like hit, I think he was hitting him with you know some what? personal bars that weren't part of his character, the film. It's a weird one because I, I watch a lot of, like, one of my favourite television shows of all time is The yeah. Thick of It. Yeah. Right, and there's a lot, like, if anyone who's listening that knows the, the character Malcolm Tucker, the yeah. angriest Scotsman of all time, hey. he is fucking hilarious. Yeah. But he aims barbs at people that could just as much be about <laughs> the actor as the character. <laughs> and I yeah. always think to myself, because there's a lot of improv that goes on in it, yeah. Do they get together and have a conversation before? Look, I'm, 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 I'm gonna gigantor, yeah, yeah, yeah. sat yeah. opposite me. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna take the piss out of the yeah, fact yeah. that you are taller than me. Yeah, and I'm six foot three. You're yeah, six foot five. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, do they have a list of stuff that you can't talk about or can't insult? Do you know how does that work? You, I'll give you a raw example. You know when they when they cast a fat person in a fat role, right? And there's fat jokes, right? A conversation must be had. I would like to I think would, so. I would like to think so, right? But then I've seen like other, com- I've seen comedians like riff, but thing is, with, and I'm not trying to dig him out, but because I'm going to watch the film, but like, and watch the TJ Miller thing because it's all worked out now. Everyone's cool. That's why I'm talking about it because everyone's fine. They've ironed it out and there's no mm. beef. But um, uh, I've seen like Cat Williams do like outtakes and stuff where he's just rinsing somebody and he's like, you can just see he's going for gold. I, I would presume if you had a comedian on set, and they're going to go for gold. They have to sit down and say, they're going to say some fucked up shit. Most of it's going to be on the cutting room floor, but we'll leave it. Do you know what I mean? The but there's an, art, there's an art to it, I well, think. There's not only is there an art to it, but ultimately, if you warn the person who's on the... Cat Williams mm. is a funny fucker. He's a not, fucking G, Honestly. Bro. Top level. If, if, if I was in a scene with Cat Williams, yeah. I would say, do what the fuck you want. Yeah. Because this isn't about me. This yeah. isn't about you this is about the material and making yeah. it as good as possible for the audience's entertainment yeah, man. i hear that so, so as long as i know that and you know that say what the fuck you want yeah that that's my attitude to it anyway no no i hear that no no i hear i hear that i hear that and i think but as long as you have that conversation beforehand, yeah, yeah yeah like if it was if it was i don't know if my if my missus cheated on yeah. me for example and he brings that into it that's nothing to do with the character and i think it was it's like what the it, fuck it wasn't he that's not what ryan Reynolds said but it was stuff that was a bit like T- honestly watch the clip TJ Miller says he walked around set and people were like yo was that a bit off and he was they were like yeah he was like yeah that's a bit off so uh, yeah it's, it's, it's a funny one man it's a funny one um, but yeah man just an interesting bit of a juice around the film mm. there bruv you get me like it's it's a mad one like I know that in writing rooms nothing's off the table the things that get said in the writing rooms like everyone is going to hell for that but that's I that's how you should get be. I think you should go as far as you can and then yeah. rein it in that's what they, well that's what they do in the writing room innit they go yeah. fucking nuts yeah. and they're like well, maybe we Maybe we take that line out. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And that's how you get to that good balance of funny. But yeah, it's one of them ones. But yeah, man, that's sick. I'm, I'm going to watch it. Dude. I'm going to be late to it. Um, I wanted everyone to kind of see it. And I, and I want to kind of, I want to have a slightly less hyped cinema. I want to take it for what it is. Yep. Um, it's probably definitely on IMAX. I might IMAX it, you know. Do IMAX it. Yeah. It looks, it right, looks cool. brilliant. All right, cool. All right, man. There well, are there some you go. scenes in it that look great. There are killer bits. Actually, I've got quick products I want to talk about. This is not, sent in for press I actually purchased this because I'm back doing some more hosting this weekend shout out to uh, I can't remember the name of the club it's in Bournemouth I'll see it on my socials but <laughs> loop headphones right I've, I've only got the box here because they're all packed up in my in my go bag for um, when I do the gig but what go bag yeah I'll go bag yeah. you're not a fugitive what are you talking about go bag for Kay said the same thing on Ain't Got A Clue podcast the cousin of this does that, show does that make me a comedian <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. When you said cousin, you mean little, little, little bitch, little daughter. Oh wow! Hey. Oh wow! No, 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 no! I'd say cousin. Yeah, yeah. cousin, cousin's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, twin, the twin. Oh, the yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, they're cool. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> they're these. They're loop earbuds, but they're not headphones. They're just they. Um. So basically, I suffer from early tinnitus because before I did radio, I was a DJ, DJ in the clubs six seven times a week i did like a few seasons in holiday destinations where i was djing three to four times a day for three months so that the amount of time I, and we're talking like four butlins. five six hours sorry butlins iron apple pontins well if there's a butlins there i'd, 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 I'd dj whatever bro um but i was actually at a time i would have fucking done anything that came i had a dj in the open for the opening of the crisp packet but um <laughs> so like six seven hour sets so 18 like three six hour sets a day do the mass 18 hours you know over 10 days 108 hours of loud music right 
I'm there for three months, whatever. So early tinnitus and stuff like that. I've I've luckily saved a lot of my hearing by not fucking up as much as others because I've been a bit more sensible with it. But all my mates that are DJs that are like a little bit older, ears are fucked. So I'm going back to gigs now and I've, the ringing in my ears stays for a bit longer than most. So they're these little earbuds that you pop in and I've got switch versions. So you click, click, click them and they become slightly, they, 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 the decibels that they take away get slightly higher or slightly lower. So you can have them in the lowest setting, click, click, click. I can talk to you and then I can step into the club later, click, click, click. And then they, they take more of the sound out. They still let sound in, but um, they'll protect your hearing. So I haven't, I'm going to try them and talk about them in the next episode. But I cop those, man. So yeah, we'll see how Sick. they go, man. Sounds fascinating. Yeah. And because I lose my shit all the time, I've got a little uh, connector that comes with them. So they kind of like reading glasses. <laughs> 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 I can't lie. I put them on. I was like, these look whack. <laughs> these look whack, brother. <laughs> these <are> like, <laughs> yeah, so I've taken them out and I'm going to hope that one doesn't fall out and fall down a crack in a wall or something. Man. Yeah. yeah, there you go. It's a little product for you. But anyway, those are our killer bits of the week. Time for our next part of the show. <laughs> Stupid stories of the week. We, 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 How are we doing for time? I think we've only got time for one Richie okay. Drissy, though. Yeah, yeah. Away, How are you away. doing? Can I get you can I get you another beverage, sir? You alright? You, you, I'm you, really need a piss. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hold on for eight more minutes and, okay. then, and then we're about. All right, cool. Um so we've got an X-rated story. We've got a that one. horror <laughs> on it. We've got a horror story. Okay. We've got a drug story. Oh. Or we've got a death and food story. Death and food. Yeah, food and death. That intrigues me the death most. Death by food. Horror. Right. I, I need a piss already, so I don't want horror. I don't want Time for death by food That's of one. the week. Of the week. You might recognise this song. You wouldn't steal a DVD. Yes. Come on. You yes. wouldn't steal a car. I would steal a car. <laughs> that would be crushing. Right. So yeah, time for our uh, new story of the week. Sorry, loud song. All right, cool. Right, so um, let's get into it, Richie. You wanted to go for... <laughs> I I, I, you want to go for a piss? I can't believe I wrote this. Uh, the headline that I wrote was, Mukbang, more like Muk Dead. A 24-year-old <laughs> celebrity in China... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so bad. I wrote, I wrote that bit. I can't believe that's not a headline. Oh. A 25-year-old mukbang celebrity in China dies during a live stream with a stomach full of undigested food. Now, Richie, do you know what mukbang is? I assumed it was some sort of McDonald's burger. Like Mukbang is the art of being online streaming or YouTube videos where people turn the microphones really loud and go like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a sexual thing, isn't it, in some parts of the world? For some people... They derive sexual enjoyment. For some people, they say they find it cathartic. But that's like with everything, though, isn't it? Strangling for some people is sexual. Some people, they find it quite relaxing because they die shortly after. But, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, it's where somebody eats stuff and they and that's it, basically. Like, they eat stuff on camera. That's all it is. That's what mukbang is. I'm glad that you don't know what it is because if you did know, then I'd have to re-explain it to you and it would be harder for the listeners to hear that. Right, but a 24-year-old mukbang celebrity in China dies during their live stream. So they die live. Doing, Sorry, doing the first, what they enjoy. The first part of that is mukbang celebrity. So a celebrity mm -hmm. that is famous because they eat. Oh yeah, bro. This is like a thing. I'm moving to... You know that as... Well, is this? Um, we're going to find out in a second, but... <laughs> I'm moving to... Remember. I'm going to replace this person but you know asmr right how oh, that's you can be an asmr celebrity You're like hello my name's Lardy da and this is <laughs> <laughs> anyone can do that yeah celebrity means ce yeah person that's celebrated yeah this person is celebrated because no, they can they can muck to the where well, they were <laughs> well, mourned they could yeah. muck to the bang like no one else could muck bang yeah you ready for this on 14th of july 24-year-old Chinese mukbang celebrity, China. Pan shouting, suddenly died during a live stream. It's believed her death was due to overeating. Now, I just want to say, not many artists and performers get to die doing what they love. Yeah? There was a comedian in this country a long time ago. He's the one that used to wear the fez. Uh, just like that. Him. I know what you mean. He died on stage. Yeah? I he was... It's not the one I'm thinking of then. Is it not saying that? Anyway, I'm gonna fuck that shit anyway. Uh, 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 Omar Jiali. No, 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 he's alive. Yeah. He's Iranian. Yeah, yeah, he's my guy. Shout out to him, man. Hubi. Um 
some farsi for them um uh yeah man but listen dying doing what you love is something that i respect right yeah now according to china news she would engage in extreme eating challenges eating non-stop for more than 10 hours on their live stream every fucking day this is taking it to the nth because for me there's so many wild things in there food obviously streaming for 10 hours a day i went to a talk about because i've done a bit of streaming it's great fun i used to do like three or four hour streams and at lockdown i did like two a day once like eight hours in total like four hours chilled for a bit went gym which was a walk whatever i did four more and i was fucking knackered and i went to a talk with some streamers they're like yeah man i do like eight to ten hours a day i was like i'm out nope. i'm out nope. from when i have to work like I could, it's less work doing a, a nice retail job where you get to talk to other people, socialize, whatever. Yep. If you want me to grind and do this and ha- and hold shit, unless the money's great, which it is for a very small number of people. For me personally, I'm like I'm alright for working you, eight hours a day. You, you're, tell me if I'm wrong. You're talking to yourself mm-hmm. and doing X Y Z. Yeah, that's man. what streaming is. And I've done the OG version, that like radio, radio, being in a room for four hours talking to myself. Anyway, right. In each meal, are you ready for this? Yeah, don't think I am. I'm going to say it. <laughs> Go on. She would attempt, attempt to consume over 10 kilo, kilograms of food. 10 <sighs> kilos of food. Now, I've never, I've weighed my food, right, before. And I can honestly say, if you're eating, like, noodles, which weigh a bit, I, I reckon I could eat a kilogram of food and I'd be fucking stuffed, yeah? But to eat 10 kilograms is wild, right? Her death sparked discussions regulating the live broadcast industry, highlighting the risks associated with extreme eating for entertainment. Where are you at right now? How, what's going through your head right now? I'm looking, I'm seeing the... Well, a I'm few seeing, different things. Yeah. They refer to it as live broadcasting. Mm-hmm. I feel like that <laughs> takes a shit all over <laughs> any live broadcaster ever. Can you imagine... Uh, I don't know why I went to Jeremy Clarkson. Why didn't they go to a newsreader? Trevor McDonald yeah. referring to... Uh, hearing about this Trevor being, McBang. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Hearing about this being referred to yeah. as live broadcasting. Yeah. Trevor McDonald. Imagine I Richie can't. Driss from Blue Peter sitting here. Yeah. God, and that's being referred to as live broadcasting. I'm never going to say The, the that. entertainment it's... snobbing you just came out. Yeah, broadcasting? Ah! But yeah. No, but here's the, to me, I see I see um, Twitch and stuff. For me, the appeal was it was the most like radio I'd had yeah. since radio. That's very Do you know what I mean? That's very but yeah, um, but yeah, uh, oh, that really was fucking elitist, wasn't it? I, yeah, yeah it's, all, it's, all, it's all good though, bro. So yeah, in, no, that, sit, no, 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 that's oh, staying in, bro. Sit in it, bro. Yeah, okay. so you go, listen, but look, I get it. Eating food for ten hours a day, killing yourself slow in camera to be for it to be called broadcasting. That's wild, bro. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. wild. Like, yeah, each to their own. but clearly though, like broadcasting, a lot of work went into that because I don't think you can step into Sorry. it on your first day. I don't like broadcasting. Well, I, I don't think you can step into ten kilo- kilograms straight away. You must pra- practice. Must go in. Hypothetically, how long could it take for you to consume ten kilograms of oh, food fuck. every single day? I couldn't okay. do that. I, no, okay, yeah. fine. It's a different. That's seventy you, kilograms of food a week. Fucking hell! That's what you bicep curl, isn't it? <laughs> That's what you weigh. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Miss Pan was a waitress when she was in. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Miss Pan was a waitress when she was enticed to become a mukbang live streamer after seeing her classmate earn a lot of money from it. So she saw her classmate doing it. She said, fuck it, I'll get involved. Right. Mukbang, which originated in South Korea, Big Up, is an eating show where the host consumes a large amount of food, as you know. While she started with a few kilograms, a f- even starting with a fuse, mad. Um, this ballooned to 10 kilograms as more uh, and, and more as she grew in popularity. Oh, <laughs> I was going to ask if you got a picture of this absolute unit um yeah but they've blurred out her face but i mean if i show you the picture i'm honest like you're not really going to be surprised at what somebody that eats 10 kilograms of food and doesn't lift isn't a strong woman or strong yeah, man looks like. I, I can't I, I can see i can see the ends of arms but yeah. i can't see fingers and i want to be yeah exactly and i want to be clear here I'm not taking the mick out of this person for their size. This is just a fucking mad story, bruv. Yeah. This is like humans pushing themselves to the street. Anyway, all right. All right. Her parents had told... Oh, she she began live streaming for more than 10 hours a day, right? Uh, and she gained... As soon as she gained an audience, she got gifts for her live streams. Her parents told her to stop broadcasting, saying the money she earns is not worth the harm it does to her body. However, she said her parents should be fine and she could bear the risk. 
Han's sudden death was not her first health scare due to her mukbang career. She'd previously been hospitalised for gastric bleeding caused by overeating. Eating. That is eating so fucking much, your body is in exploding on the inside. That's fucking wild. You ever heard, like, I don't know why I was thinking, like, uh, a Scottish film relative. Seven? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well. I, yeah, Seven. And also thinking, like, do they say he has gastric bleeding in Seven? Yeah. yeah. He's, I was just thinking yeah. of a Scottish person. I've eaten so much I could explode. I just yeah. got an auntie that says Why that all Scottish? the time. I just, auntie that says that, innit? You yeah, I've, eaten, yeah, I've eaten so much I'm going to explode. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, man, she was bleeding on the inside from eating so much. Fuck me. It's like your yeah, stomach... Yeah. Spinning. Guys, don't do this Jesus for the internet. Uh, yeah, uh, her sudden death was the first health scare due to was not her first scared, like I said uh, I've had a beer uh, all his members were worried advising her to stop eating that much however reports said she ignored the, wa- the, the warning her abdomen was extremely deformed and the topsy report revealed that her, that her, she, it was also full of undigested food she eating so much she couldn't Wait, digest she food she fucking eating it whole like a snake some mukbang stuff they fucking weigh it in bruv I've seen bits and bobs like I haven't watched a lot of it like I, I see them come up on like feeds but like some of them it's like I, I do watch speed eaters I've, I've seen that and, and that's they impressive. seem to be in really good shape because a lot of them they'll like fast beforehand eat the food work out they'll do the calories but this is more like because this is about the sound if you're going to eat for a long time making the sound you've got to eat quite a lot where speed eaters are just like smacking them do you know what I mean um, but yeah man it's, it's about the sound <sighs> just put it record yourself eating for half an hour and put it on a loop well, I don't know why I'm handing out advice now. It's a little bit late. Yeah, just that. play the sound. Yeah. And just yeah. like... Mm, mm, mm. How, yeah, how different can it sound, though? Do you know what I mean? Like, how Shall I get some can- mukbang? So I, I'll play some mukbang for you guys. Let's just play some... Oh, no, you can, you can hear it, man. It's, I, uh, uh, I mean, no, it's fine. Yeah. I'm not, not going to be grossed out by it, but I am going to... You might you might like it. This might be the, your awakening. <laughs> You won't be like after the show, like outside? Marcus, and then, and then and then we'll get right. All right, cool. Uh, so we've got hash browns and honey. All right, or we've got eating faster like a good girl. Absolutely not watching what that. We just fuck? fucking talk about that. McDonald's burgers. Do you sing when you eat? ASMR mukbang. Spicy chicken. Seasoned chicken. So what do you want? Hash browns or seasoned chicken? Hash browns are going to be crispy. So this is a crisp. This is a cri- crispy one. Yeah. Let me uh, make sure the volume is going up to the right. But here we go. Sounds like an advert. Yeah. Hash browns. I'm now I'm hungry. So that's why I think pe- people like eating vi- eating vicariously for other people. Do you have an amazing? Oh, that's, that's an advert. So that play. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. So that's that's some that's some hash browns. It's a great way it to sounds, end the show. Sounds, and then we've got what we've got. Hungry. This is someone frying. This is someone cooking it. So you hear all the noises. But this is let's have them smashing it. This is. Oh, that's gross. Eating noodles. What's that like? Oh, do you hear this? Do you hear the? Don't like it. Right, right, this is the most watched part of the video. Let's see what this is here. She's rubbing some cheap. She's rubbing some, some shrimp. And crunching into shrimp. Is that going through you? Yeah. I don't have to, no. That is it. Sorry, we won't do anymore. Um, yeah, that's ASMR. There you go. But I'm here with you. One way to kill an hour. Where can we find you on social media, bro? At Richie Driss. No T in Richie. Why yes, right. is there Driss D R I W S? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Why is there ever a T in Richie? That's unreasonable. We're at How to Kill an Hour on all socials. Don't forget, send your jokes in and we'll read them out in our punishment part of the show or the new show that we've got coming out. Uh, and also at Marcus Bronzy on all social medias as well, man. Big up. See you next time. That's Never Richie miss. leaving the room for a piss. See you soon, man. Stay blessed. Big up yourself. We'll do some ASMR right at the end of this.